Hello, 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 star seeds. How are you all doing? Hope you all are having a great and wonderful day. I am doing the same. I have another message for us. So let me go ahead and invite the Holy Spirit and we will get started. Sweet divine Holy Spirit, we wel welcome your presence now. Emmanuel, God with us, ancestors of the pure and divine white lights, we welcome your presence as well. We thank you, Lord, for waking us up this morning. Thank you for your new grace and mercy that is made new to us every morning. Thank you for forgiving us of all of our sins. As we forgive those who have sinned against us, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. We thank you that we are covered in your blood. Let no evil come near us in our dwelling, giving your angels charge over us to keep us in all of our ways. We thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness. Thank you for your unconditional love, your kindness, your amazing grace. We love you, Lord. We honor you, God. We reverence you, Lord. Thank you for your consistency. Thank you for everything that you've brought us through and to. Thank you for everything that you've done for us and everything that you will continue to do. Sweet divine Holy Spirit, I ask that you speak through me now to give this message to your children. Tell us what we need to know. Show us what we need to see and be aware of in this season. We give your name, praise, glory, and honor and reverence. You are sovereign and holy. We thank you for hearing us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hello, 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 star seeds. Thank you all so much for all your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. I really, really appreciate you all very, very much. Thank you for your love and support. If you are new to the channel, welcome, 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 welcome. We are so glad to have you here, a part of our star seed tribe and community. And if you are returning, welcome, welcome back. So glad to have you back. All right, star seeds, what is going on? I know I missed yesterday. I needed to get some rest and uh, rejuvenate myself and refresh and all of that. So now I am back with another message. So let's see what's going on in this energy. There is a lot going on. Somebody is... um going to jail or they have already went to jail take what resonates and leave the rest god know who he's trying to reach i don't just being obedient and giving us the messages yes yeah, somebody is um either went to jail or they're going to jail very soon somebody has um their secret accounts has been revealed um and they have trapped themselves they tried to lay out a trap for the starseed chosen ones, but they are the ones who is falling in the trap that they set for you. Um, people are realizing that this person was a trickster, very phony, creating illusions, very deceptive, and that you were right about this person. If you told a divine counterpart about what this person was doing behind the scenes. So, um, God wants you all to know that in your ancestors that you are divinely guided and heavily protected. This person was trying to cause distractions in your guidance on your path and God wants you all to know that you are, are protected and heavily protected and divinely guided. There is a shield of protection around you so no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And so there's a lot of information that has come out about this person and there is a group or an organization that they were a part of and god wants you all to know that they that you all are protected uh from that group as well that this karmic energy was a part of and so now um that all this information has been found out about 
what the member, this karmic member of a community or some type of group or organization has done. They are um, being kicked out of this group organization and nobody is going to defend this person. So where they would have had access to lawyers before being a part of this certain group or organization, the group has found out what they did or the, um, the head person of the group or the organization has found out what a group of karmics has done to a starseed chosen one and they're being kicked out of the organization and nobody is defending them. So this person has um, yeah so they have found out about these secret accounts and now this person is trapped they are receiving rejection from an organization and a divine counterparts and this news is coming in fast this is happening to them fast they have either went to jail or they are going to jail the police had to be called in the situation. This person is, um, they did all of this for the security and stability, and now they're experiencing public shame. And the, the police was called based on some, um, a text message or some type of uh, communication, a letter or a message of concern. And so, People have found out uh, a, a divine counterpart and also a organization has found out that this karmic energy was um, being a psycho pretty much. This person was um, very crazy and obsessed, wouldn't let go. And they could have been, um, some of them were, excuse me, negative energy, stalking and watching you all. Um, gang stalking, um, using scarcity tactics. Somebody could have even been peeping in your window, trespassing on your property. And this is all because they wanted your blessings. They wanted your new beginning. They wanted the gift that God has given to you. And so this person is has trapped themselves. They are not free. They can't move on from this. They can't let it go. They had many opportunities to stop and pay attention to their shadows, heal their shadow self, their ego, their pride, to go somewhere and try to love themselves, but they did not. They kept on stalking you and gang stalking you and watching you using a lot of scarcity tactics and this person is receiving a lot of bad news this is a a gold digger karmic that is unstable financially and they're into the dark arts black magic voodoo spell work all those type of things and somebody is breaking up with them because of this information that has been the truth has come out and this person is facing a lot of legal matters they're either have already went to jail or they have they're going to jail very soon they're finding out that this person was gps tracking you your location but now they have to stop because they are facing all of these legal matters at this time and this person thought they were not going to jail behind this. They thought that they were going to get their way, but things are not going their way. This person is facing a lot of legal matters for things that they were doing spiritually. They cause a lot of chaos 
they're experiencing a ego death at this time. They're in a downward spiral and having a spiritual awakening. They cannot get out of this trap that they have put themselves in. A, um, a divine masculine has gotten a reading and they are very heartbroken behind the situation. And so um, that's probably why the police had been called. But this is news that is spreading fast to everybody, to this organization, also to this, um, everybody who was involved with helping this karmic come against you in these crazy ways and manners. And so the truth has come out. People have clarity about how this person was operating in their pride and ego, um, being very, very selfish. And so they're, um, they're dealing with a situation now where they're in a situation where they have limited influence over their behavior. So no, no amount of leadership, modeling, or persuasion will be able to quell the unbridled, uncontrollable energy that has been unleashed. So all of this energy that they were sending towards you all with this spell work, black magic, voodoo, um, operating in the dark arts, all of this has boomerangs backfired and went back to them and there's nothing they can do do to get out of this situation this energy um, was blocked off from you because you are um, no weapon formed against you shall prosper and every tongue that rises up against you in judgment shall be condemned and so this is is what is happening to this person because that energy had to go somewhere if it didn't reach you and so all of this is coming back on them <clears throat> and they cannot get out of this situation. They, they felt like they were strong and, you know, had it all together and all of this was going to work in their favor. But it is not there. They did not accomplish their goal that they had against you. This plan, this um, immature plan that they had did not work and they're receiving a lot of bad news at this time. They're caught up in some type of money scams and schemes as well. Everything that they were doing behind the scenes and everything that they were sending towards you has backfired and went back to them. And there's nothing that they can do to get out of this situation. This is somebody who is a gold digger that um, prioritizes money and material gains over real true love. And somebody is moving away from this person, moving to karma waters. They're offloading all of these burdens. Or this could be this person going up the road, going to prison. Because all of this stuff has um, backfired and went back. And this person is very um, disappointed. Because everything has come full circle. And the cycle has closed. But this person was a coward. Throwing rocks and hiding their hands. And all of this, this truth has been illuminated. Everybody has clarity now of what this person invested their time, money, energy in. And they were waiting on this to happen to you, waiting on everything to fall apart for you, but it is falling apart for them. And this person was... Um, acting like a madman or mad woman towards you in very very dark evil energy they are embracer of madness chaos unruly and possession 
have a lot of obsessions. And you're not, you are not this madman. Somebody is seeing this about you. Um, there's a karmic, um, divine, a divine counterpart that was supposed to be your, your divine counterpart. This person is seeing that you were not the madman or the mad woman. That all of this work was being done towards you by this karmic who is a lost soul. And this um, divine counterpart, they're seeing that they're feeling like a lost soul as well. Because they were um, tied up and connected with this person. And you walked away from this whole situation. Moved in silence. Because you were emotionally mature, emotionally intelligent, you're balanced in your emotions. And because there were a, a lot of watching and stalking going on and people lying on you and telling, you know, all these different stories of you that was not true, slander and gossip being very dangerous towards you with their tongue. The Bible says that life and death is in the power of the tongue. And they were using their tongue, this this silver mouth devil was using their tongue to try to destroy somebody who is a sweetheart, whether you're male or female, that has a good heart. Your heart chakra is in balance. And this made this person very mad and so they operated in their shadow self towards you they were trying to prove a point and you had already walked away from this situation and you was going to let them have this divine counterpart that was supposed to be your divine counterpart and soulmates but this situation was beneath you so you was going to let them continue to be karmic together because they were mirroring each other, and so they deserved each other. And you walked away from this situation and moved in silence, doing so. And so this karmic is realizing that they were no match to you. They could not complete their goal against you. They didn't have enough inner strength. They're a coward. And they definitely weren't protected at all in this situation. A karmic feminine energy. Because you were never wearing a mask. Your personality and your heart is what it is. You're being your true self the whole time and so this person thought that they could challenge you in this way but they didn't have any protection you are protected by energy and the forces that they're not ready to deal with and they're seeing this now with all of this energy that they have unleashed and it's all going back to them and everybody who was involved in this situation. And so this divine counterpart is realizing that they followed somebody who did not have all the information, was not telling them the truth. This person was just being experimental with all of this stuff that they were sending towards you. And they're seeing that this person was not... Um, This person was not their real friend, not their real companion. They was not really supporting this person in joy. They were pretending to be something that they were not. Pretending to be a keeper of tales. Um, pretending like they knew some information. Pretending like their Akashic records were open to them. Where they had access to sacred knowledge and wisdom and information but they did not this person was a fraud a fraud 
They were not a spiritual seeker at all. They was not following their inner path, inner path. And they had this divine counterpart fooled. So this person was pretending to be a leader, pretending to be a role model. It was like, why would you pretend to be a model, a role model or a leader instead of just being one? For real, for real. Make it make sense. And so this has caused a um, a separation in a marriage or an organization. But yeah, this is looking like a marriage. This person is leaving this situation. They thought this person was their um, true divine counterpart, their soulmates. But with all this information that is coming out, they're seeing that this person was a fake and a fraud. And everything, um, they're breaking up with this situation. There's, um, they're having money problems, losing everything at this time. This person is being rejected. There is trouble in paradise. They're not emotionally fulfilled with this person, not emotionally secure. There are um, a lot of disputes going on, a lot of quarrels with a divine, I'm sorry, with a karmic feminine that is very manipulative and cunning and emotionally immature. And this divine counterpart is putting a death, an end to this situation. This is ending. If they marry this person, they're getting a divorce because they see the manipulation and the control tactics in this. And they're no longer refusing to see it. Like it's out in the open, everybody can see that this truth is being revealed and this is a huge betrayal. This is a tragic ending for this karmic and also this divine counterpart that committed to this person or married them. And they're in a tower. There are a lot of disruptions, lightning, um, karmic storm they're in at this time. A lot of um, fated events are happening that are out of everyone's control. God is doing this. And everyone is being enlightened. They're seeing themselves in the mirror. Excuse me, negative energy. Everyone is being enlightened and seeing what this karmic energy was doing to um, to you all that are operating with integrity in every area of your life. This person was trying to slow down love from coming to you all trying to take your choice away they had either taking of a, a divine counterpart's choice away or they were trying to cause this person not to choose you they were trying to bring a lot of endings and setbacks and stagnation to your love life and now all of this is falling apart. They were trying to keep this person from moving forward, trying to keep you from mo moving forward, wanted you to miss opportunities and wanted this divine counterpart to miss an opportunity with you as well. So they were in the background causing all of these um, setbacks and delays. This gold digger, karmic feminine, this is a huge betrayal, but they end up betraying themselves and breaking their own hearts and falling in their own trap that they set for you. And now they're stuck looking at this situation and there's nothing that they can do about it. They're, they have been caught up by their own booby trap that they set for you and this divine counterpart. 
and they cannot move, cannot do anything. And this person, this karmic feminine is mad, whether this is a lover, a mother, cousin, auntie, whoever. This person is mad because they are trapped and stuck. And the seeds that they planted with this um, dark arts that they're into, this was unsuccessful. They thought this was a clever idea. But this has led them to a tragic ending. Everything that they wanted to happen to you and, you, and this divine counterparts, this has led to a tragic ending for them because everybody has found out what they were doing behind the scenes. They had hidden motives and hidden intentions. Their intuition was blocked, but they was tricking this person to think that they were a chosen one star seed, led, guided, and directed by God but doing all of this black magic and voodoo in the background. And God says he will not be mocked. Whatever you sow, you shall reap it. And this is what is happening. So this person can no longer be um, toxic to you, towards you all. There's a death and ending to this situation. This did not work. They work hard, tirelessly, day and night, doing all of these spells over and over and over and over again. Praying practitioners, getting together in their covens, you know, trying to focus all of this into being for you. And this has backfired and going back to everybody who was involved. All the secrets have come out. All the cats are at the, out the bag. And this person was doing this to Re reconcile with your divine counterparts to make amends with them. And this person is realizing that this divine counterpart is realizing that they committed or they married somebody who was not healed. That had a lot going on inside their head in their mind that they were unaware of. And now this person wants to come towards you and apologize. They want forgiveness. <clears throat> they want to say they're sorry and they want to return to you. This person is in sorrow and grief and depression for committing to this person in a committed relationship or in a marriage. And they're seeing that they did not grow in this situation at all. This is a whole setback for them. And they should have ran from this karmic energy. But they had them fixed up with all of these um, dark arts practices they were doing. And so this divine counterpart is receiving the truth. And they're telling this person the truth that they're following their intuition and walking away from this situation. There's a divine masculine that is realizing that this person was a thief or they were the thief. And this person was being a spiritual bully and also a physical bully with all of their tactics they were using. This person is saying they took the, the easy way out. They was delusional in this situation that they love you. But they were um, overindulging in unhealthy habits for st st stability and security. They're realizing this about these karmic gold digger diggers now. So yes, Starseeds, that is the message God wants you all to know that you are divinely guided and heavily protected. You are protected against any organizations, any karmics, 
anybody coming towards you at this time. And so um, we have a full moon that's coming up on the 21st. So um, please know that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And any energy that they send will be returned to sender. But you can still, you know, read your prescript, your um, protection, scriptures, and whatever your ancestors are telling you do, to do to protect yourself. But this is not going to end well for this person. It's not ending well for them. They could already be in jail before they was going to try to do something with this full moon. And a lot of them are being kicked out of these organizations by higher ups. So, but that don't mean that they still not going to try to try something in their little group, in their little coven group. But you are protected and divinely guided. And this is not going to end well for them. God keeps his promises and his word is true. So, but yes, they have fell in the trap that they, they, they that they set for you to fall in. And everybody knows everything that they did and they're experiencing a lot of public shame and guilt. So, all right, star seeds, that is the message. I love you all. God loves you. Love and light. Treat yourselves and others right. I will talk to you all soon. Enjoy your day or night, wherever you are. Peace be with you.